This is our home, an island in the South Pacific called Tana. It is a green and beautiful place which provides us with everything we need. Sometimes people from far away lands come to learn about our way of life, how we tend our gardens, keep our animals and dance for fun. Now, one of them has asked if we would like to see life in America. We have seized this good fortune because in the time of our grandfathers, a special bond was formed between Tana and America. Five of us have been chosen by our custom elders, Chief Mangao, one of our high chiefs, Gemua, our head Tanza, Huey, our happy man, Sam, our medicine man, and Namus, our translator. And this is the story of our big mission to the strange land of the USA to meet the natives. It's odd, when I do my art, I get into sort of a trance. Jerry and I are, are married. You're pulling my leg. Everyone has to be sexy here. This is Orange County. Yeah. <laughs> they do look good, though. Yeah. Yeah. Go out. As the five ambassadors for our whole island, we must report on our mission to our chiefs. So we have asked for a camera of our own. Chief Mangao, the leader of our mission, has lots of grandchildren to say goodbye to. But before we leave, we must consult Chief Mangao's father, the Supreme Chief. The meeting place of our elders is called the Nakamal. Only one of us is old enough to have met the American soldiers himself, Supreme Chief Kauye. But there was one American we have all heard of. During the Second World War, our Supreme Chief's generation helped the Americans build huge houses and special roads for airplanes. Wherever our ancestors worked, Tom Navy would miraculously appear every day and make sure they were well looked after. While Kemua is our head dancer, Kwe's job is to make everyone happy. Yo nang kwe, kini 
Yo, yel ma kali kat be nol gigen, kini nusanyen. Yo, kui jauh mula kau amat jauh amat ker. Kini mula nel ma kau sanyen nusul dia. Yo, nangai kui kini nel ma kau kui nel ma kau nol gigen. Kini jauh lagi luar luar bukan kini sanyen nul. Sanyen nusul dia. Hey, luar bukan luar. Here on Tana, we consider ourselves the happiest people in the world. But before the time of Tom Navy, things were different. We believe that when Tom Navy returns, the rest of the world will be as peaceful as we are. So while we are exploring life in America, we will also be looking for Tom. Okay. Our medicine man Sam will provide spiritual assistance on our mission. Hi, I'm Namus. Uh, I'm a translator for the ambassadors to US. When I was still a little boy, I went out for an English education school. I was educated there for 10 years. And uh, it is my first time to visit the US uh, at this uh, time. We hear that America is cold and that we'll need to wear more than our numbers or penis sheets. <laughs> it seems there'll be many strange things to get used to on our travels. <laughs> Early on the day of our departure, we meet to discuss the trip ahead.
all our families and friends have come to dance to wish us luck on our mission. Everyone piles into four tracks and makes the special journey down to the S Street to see us all. We touch down on Vanuatu's main island, and as we travel on, the planes get bigger. <laughs> And bigger. We fly over 7,000 miles across ocean and land on five different planes. But we arrive at last. <laughs> America is a big country, so we are going to stay with five different families to find out about the life of our brothers and spread our message of peace and happiness. The families live in places called New York, Georgia, Illinois and California. But we're starting in a huge land named Montana with people called cowboys. We're very excited to meet our first American family, Michael and Tanya and their three children, who live on a traditional garden called a ranch. So we are thank you for allowing us to get, come into your house today. The mission we are working on is we are coming today and to meet you. We live together and so that we may let peace and joy and harmony throughout the world so that uh, people may live in peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Very exciting to have you here. Yes. Michael and Tanya decorate their home with animals. That's the elk. Do you like him? Yeah. <laughs> and they use those to fight with. They fight yeah. each other. For the protection. The planet one, I could. Yes. Michael shot him in the hills back up here behind us. And then we 
ate I mean, him, had, you know, elk steak. And, <laughs> and they're good to eat. They're good to eat. They taste good. Mm. Amen. <laughs> the elder son, Cole, keeps his hunting weapons in his room. <laughs> hunting must be important for surviving here. Although the prey all have strange horns. The antlers are kind of a Montana joke. These are not real. This yeah. is real. <laughs> While Michael returns to his work on the ranch, Tanya shows us around. She says we can sleep in a traditional house she calls a cabin. Nice. He's friendly. <laughs> juice, water, more juice, just to help yourself. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's the hot. That's the cold. What is this useful? This is hand lotion. There. And I really like everybody's hats. Yep. All right. Good. 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 America is a cold place, but there are many things to help keep us warm. Morning, guys. Morning. How are you? Yeah. To begin our first morning in America. Okay. We're going to start with some bacon. Tanya wants to show us how to cook breakfast. Do you want to do the rest? Some coffee? Help yourself. We call it creamer. Coffee creamer. Dried milk. No, I, I just bought it like that. Some taste like vanilla, um, hazelnut. On our island in the South Pacific, the women do the cooking, making us meals of lap lap <laughs> and delicious island stew. We're going to make these pancakes. It's traditional breakfast. It has um, flour and mostly flour in there. I don't know what else is in there. <laughs> <laughs> Break the yolk. A little more. And we have to just let him cook for a minute and then we're going to flip him over. <laughs> Chief's job is to jumble up the eggs. What do you think, Chief? Do the ladies like that? Do you think the ladies ever get tired of cooking? It's their job. Even though life here is so different, we have noticed a clear bond between us and Montana. 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 Yeah. Just when, uh, Back home, other islanders call us 
Man from Tana. So we're all Montanans. <laughs> <laughs> but our original bond with America is through the peace that Tom Navy brought us during World War II. We have followed Tom's message ever since, but we are concerned at news that America is not. <laughs> We hope we can help America find Tom's peace again. Well, thank you for coming to America and spreading that message and I wish you lots of luck in your journey. I hope a lot of people get to hear you because yeah. I think you have a very good message yeah. and it needs to be heard. Michael wants to show us how he looks after the cows on the ranch. So he takes us to the feed lot. <laughs> Most of the cows are his, but he says he looks after some for other people. Yeah, I just want to ask you, how many girls do you have in your farm? Wow, well, about 5,000 through the winter time. 5,000? Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm we raise so much feed that we got to have enough cows around to feed up. The feed that we raise on our farm is kind of how we gauge how many cows we have through the winter time. At home, we all keep chickens on a few pigs which we feed on different plants from the forest and our gardens. But here, the cow's food comes from a big truck. It's driven by a man called Merrill, who asks Quay to help out. <laughs> Sam looks after our health and is unsure about the mother truck's food. Meryl has been feeding cows for over 40 years, but he still uses a book to make sure he gets the mixture just right. So it tells me how much of the hay to put on, how much of the corn silage, whole corn, and then this here is what we call a, a starter pellet. It's got antibiotics in it. We use that for 28 days. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure they would be, yeah, but what do you do when you don't have the grass? <laughs> You're pulling my leg. <laughs> Jose and Mike work along with Merrill as Ron's hands. And they ask for our help with 500 cows that have just arrived. This is for Vibrio Lepto. It's a shot that prevents them from losing their care. We also give medicines to our animals, but only when they look sick. Michael has so many animals that he doesn't know them all. So we help put a number in their ear. 
and we burn a special sign into their side, so they don't get lost. Hey, get in line! <laughs> By using special foods and medicines, Michael can keep all these cows in a place without crash. But he only keeps cows. Here comes the meat and potatoes. The full day's work on the ranch has made us all hungry. Even though we have only seen cows being grown here, there are many kinds of food to eat. The only thing we raise is the meat, and then we buy the <coughs> the vegetables and everything at the store. Everything's kind of specialized, you know. Yeah. Like if you're a beef farmer, you raise beef, you don't raise... It's not like the old days where you'd raise all your own vegetables and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're <laughs> At least we know we're not going to go hungry in America. There's dessert coming in. This was just a taster. <laughs> Michael wants to show us how American people hunt with a musket. At home, we stalk birds with our bows and hard-tipped arrows. We creep up close behind the trees and leaves before we shoot. But here, there are no green trees for hiding behind. The deer are so far away, they hardly know we're here. <laughs> Thank you. You guys want to get your picture taken? Here, we'll get him on the ground. You guys After the animal has been shot with a musket, it's traditional to shoot it a second time. Say cheese! With a camera. <laughs> That evening, Michael wants to show us the weekly attraction in the local town. When we arrive, we see that a rodeo is where the cowboy people come to show off their horses. But there are some horses that are crazy. Yeah, they're wild. So that the men fall off more easily, they can only hold on with one hand. How are you, sir? 
a man called Deb comes to talk to us. He was once a big rodeo champion. Is it warm there where you live? Yeah. yeah. All the time? Really? They got you bundled up here. <laughs> yeah, he's <it's> very cold. Hello. <laughs> Everything's pretty, pretty safe, you know, everything's pretty controlled, but, you know, things can happen. You, you just never know, you can't predict that, and that's the last thing you want to enter your mind. If you start worrying about it, you just will quit. We can't help worrying about it, but everyone here seems happy. And Deb is the happiest of them all. You know, it, I guess rodeoing for a living, in which I did for 15 years, each town holds a big one, just one a year. So people look forward to it the whole year. You know, when you go into that kind of environment for every town you go to and people are happy, it's pretty easy to be happy. It's not only men who take part. The women have trained their horses very well. But outside, there's more than horses. <laughs> if we were not seeing it with our own eyes, this is something we would never believe. Our island in the South Pacific, Tana, was created first in the world. Our ancestors came from the rocks, and the great creator left one mountain, Mount Yasu, alive to remind us of our beginning. He then went on to make the rest of the world, leaving America until last. Tanya takes us to visit the secret mountains of a place called Yellowstone Pack which lies in the next land of Wyoming. After many miles, we see a rock that confirms America's link with our island. Mm -hmm. 
We are happy that we have been able to inform the rocks of America of our mission of peace. <laughs> There's a buffalo right there! <laughs> In America, everything is big. When we drive over the mountains, they are so high, the clouds have covered them in a thing called snow. <laughs> We've been at the runs in Montana for five days. And today Merrill says we need to drive some cattle. How's everybody this morning? But before we can join them, Merrill and Michael have a surprise. We've got a little present for you fellas. Put it on now. Yeah, put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Happy man, this is yours. How's it gonna look? Oh yeah, just right. Look at that. I'll do that. Do that. Do that. At home Montana, we keep many different animals. But Gwei is the only one who has a horse. He uses him for taking messages between the villages, so that everyone knows about decisions made by the chiefs. Namus has also ridden while he was away at school, so he's given Merrill's favorite horse can smoke. Okay, we're off. Follow me. The head of young cows are eating the last of the crabs out on the plain. They need to be driven to water so they can drink. <laughs> Chief Kemua and Sam go on ahead to watch from a safe distance. <laughs> 
ለውና ለምናል ለሐፋም መልን ነው ወይ ነው ማይ ለውን ባውና ለምናል ለህ መልን ትኩሎ ማመን ግን ምሁም ቢያባ መልን ትሳዋሉ ትሳዋሉ ግን ባህ ለማለመ ትኩን ማመሉ ግን ለምናል ነው ይን መምላህ ማማም When we catch up with the cattle, we find Teanot keen to go to the water after all. Yeah, he's a good rider. Damn good. Yak sahulai gin. Mama ulai debena waya for. Come on, come say ben. Yeah, yeah. Ya khana waya ma khana waya for ya ling na la waya. One calf gets away, but Meryl knows just how to stop it. Yes, kind of a b You guys did a real good job today. Real good. Manos, you, you really did good. Can't smoke, number one. Number one. I've had him about 10 years, and this is all he's ever done. In the summertime down here at the lodge, we get a lot of dudes. And they come in here and they tell you that they're horseback riders, but they couldn't do any of this stuff that you and Happy Man did this afternoon. They can sit on a horse and that's about it. You guys, I appreciate the way you did. You worked real good. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Love you too, Mano. Thank you. Your hands are cold. <laughs> After a cattle drive, Tanya says that cowboys go to a meeting place called a bar. Cheers. <laughs> It is the home of the white man's drink, beer. <laughs> Cowboys enjoy themselves in similar ways to us. Ladies and gentlemen, would you guys join us to welcome our friends from the little island of Tanner and they're right out here on the dance floor. Hello, you guys. Good to have you here. In our own Nakamal, we love nothing better than dancing. The men, led by Gaimoa, start a dance in the middle. And then the women join in, keeping to the outside. But here, the women don't hesitate to take the lead. Being asked to dance by women is a very new thing for us. Yeah, what, because why we are laughing is it's, it's our first time and we are laughing at each other. So. <laughs> you guys are all very happy men, and I think you guys are fantastic. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Do that, do that, do that. Do that, do that. We're having a great time with the cowboy people and we're looking forward to showing them some of our culture. But soon we will have to say goodbye. I thank the world of all of you. We're gonna miss you. And we will travel on to a different kind of family in a place where America grows its money called New York City. <laughs> <laughs>